Hello everyone, we are here with the Gem Max GM 9000 ID first oil change after the braking period. The braking period for this generator is five hours. During those five hours, you wanna stay at 50% capacity of the load or below. According to the manual, the braking period is five hours. The first five hours of run time are the braking period for the unit. During the braking period, stay at or below 50% of the running watt rating and vary the load occasionally to a low stator winding to heat and cool. Adjusting the load will also cause the engine speed to vary slightly and help sit the pistons. After five hour braking period, change the oil. And that's what we're gonna do today here. First oil change of the GM 9000 IED. Let's start it. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta run the generator for at least three, five minutes to let the oil uh, get warm. So that will help the oil to drain faster and easier. And at the same time, it's gonna mix the oil with the metal flakes. The metal flakes go to the bottom after you left, left the generator off, uh, off for a period of time. So that will mix the flakes, metal flakes with the oil and drain the flakes out easier uh, out of, from the generator, okay? The second thing you gotta do, you gotta remove three screws right here using a 516. You're gonna pull this and you're gonna remove the cover. Okay, now you're gonna see over here, this is the oil dipstick. This is the bolt you gotta remove to drain the oil. And down here, this is the oil filter. You gotta remove this cover right here. And there is another cover down there you can see, you gotta remove this cover too. There you go. And here is where it's gonna drain. I'm using this low profile pan that I found on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you like it, but I like it. It's fit perfectly there, you know? Very low profile. Okay, I'm using half an inch wrench socket. and you let it drain. I'm gonna remove now the oil filter. Oil filter is uh, a little bit uncomfortable to get it out. So, and the engine is warm. It's not hot, hot. You run it for three, five minutes, but it's a little warm, so you gotta be careful. Get, let me put my gloves on. Here is the oil filter. Now we gotta clean this. Okay, we got the oil filter clean right here. That is a stain, I don't know why, but it's a stain on the plastic, you know? But that is the oil filter. Let's put it back. You wanna put it, um, tie it down, but not too tight. So just give it a twist and a second twist and that should be good to go. Then if you want, you can clean it a little bit with a paper towel because there is still oil uh, down here. So let's see. Let's put the bolt back. Comes with a bolt and a washer. Make it tight, but not too tight because you don't want to strip the screw. Okay, now we're gonna put 
new oil here. Put this here. Um, it's 10W30 what you're gonna use. If you use synthetic oil, you're gonna use synthetic oil after the breaking period and after the first oil change and you're gonna use 5W30. For synthetic oil is 5W30. Regular oil is 10W30, okay? It's gonna take a whole quart. Let's do that. Okay, you're gonna clean any oil spill. I'm gonna put the oil dipstick back. As you see, it's almost touching the edge of the opening and that's how you know that it's full. Now we gotta put the plug back down here. and the other plug that go right here. We're gonna close the cover. Now remember guys, the oil oil, put it back into the empty bottle. Take it to a recycle center, don't throw it around. It's bad for the ambient and uh, it's not good, okay? And, uh, and you're done. After you change the oil, you wanna start it, run it for three, four minutes, and you're done. This is how you change the oil on the GM 9000 IED Gen Max generator. Um, if you have any question, please let me know below. And uh, I'm gonna leave a link to the oil pan just in case you want that. Uh, from Amazon and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.